want to honor my Uncle Andrew. Uncle Andrew has been a champion and 53 years of martial arts is how one becomes a leader and a master in their field. I know Uncle Andrew longer than anybody else in this room here. 53 years Uncle Andrew has been practicing martial arts and I met him 53 years ago as a 10 year old. When he first came to Australia, the first people that he visited were my parents at their shop. But interestingly enough, after that initial meeting, I ventured into martial arts independently, and Uncle Andrew ventured into martial arts. And before he met Auntie Anna, he was doing martial arts with Merv Oakley, and I was also in that same class, and we didn't know, we didn't know that we were studying under the same teacher. Back in those days, I just want to compliment and supplement what Stefan was saying in terms of the timeline, because I've been able to live and experience those timelines in real time. And I've seen Uncle Andrew go from being a brown belt to being one of the highest qualified martial artists in the world. Nobody would ever, ever expect that a Greek migrant who came to Australia, who left his family, left his homeland to come to have a crack and a better life, would one day be a nine dan black belt. But not only nine dan, that anybody just use your nine dan. Uncle Andrew has received his nine dan from Japanese masters. Back in those days, just so to put into perspective, back in those days, Training was brutal. Merv Oakley was short. He was about five foot five. <laughs> but he would brutalise the black belts. He would hammer them. There would be blood, and he would want his black belts to submit to his authority. He would he would ridicule them, which is something that I didn't like, and that's something that a lot of people maybe didn't like in those days. Whereas Uncle Andrew took those early lessons and he shaped them with love. He shaped them with respect for the students to enable them to grow and develop. The training back in those days was a very, very small dojo. Rockdale and Granville, I don't know if you remember those, Uncle Andrew and Rockdale. They were tiny dojos. You'd have 30 people training and in summer it would be horrendous the heat you know you'd be doing what you're doing in a very very small space anyway back in those days i trained i got to my green belt and then i stopped so i've got a few i've got a history of stop start but what i want to say to you is that anything in life that is worth doing requires a thing called stickability. You've got to stick to it. And Uncle Andrew has that ability to focus and to stick to something. He has a spirit which is unique, which we've all learned, we've all experienced it, but we can learn from Uncle Andrew that nothing is impossible. People overestimate what they can do in one year, but underestimate what they can do in 10, and totally underestimate what they can do in 50. So time and effort and focus 
can take someone to the greatest heights in their field of expertise and their love. And Uncle Andrew has achieved that in many areas and he's received a lot of respect. I have people, I've worked on, 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 on some construction sites and I have people coming up to me and tell me how Uncle Andrew has changed their lives. Grown men who have got grown children who are successful in their own right say wonderful things about Uncle Andrew. Like, just like all those wonderful stories that we've heard tonight. Anyway, I won't keep you too long, but uh, as I say, for those who are practicing, um, continue practicing, don't ever give up. I had to stop on a number of occasions because of physical reasons. I've had tendonitis in my Achilles tendon when I was brown belt with two black stripes. And 20 years later, I came back and started again and got my black belt. But you just gotta stick to it. Because if you stick to it, and you just keep on going step by step, you will one day achieve greatness. But not everybody can do it. So <laughs> all I can say is just do it for as long as you can, because your body will break down. <laughs> but uh, it's not about the body. What Uncle Andrew achieved in those 53 years, in all that training, in all that perseverance, is that he was training his mind. And once you conquer the body through the mind, then you become a master. And then you create other people who are leaders, who potentially can become masters. Stefan, I salute you. Anietta, I salute you as well. Because it's been a hard road. I've lived your life with you in parallel. It hasn't been easy. Anietta, and Stefan and Chrysula, you know, you need to be very, very proud of this man. And everybody else, of course, is proud because I've heard your wonderful story. And, uh, you know, we are all proud of you. What you have done and the love that you have shared and the memories that you have created. But not only these people here, but lots of other people who have come and gone. They've taken with them something special. They've taken with them part of your heart, but more importantly, part of your spirit. And they give you hope, just like you give them hope. So thank you very much.